So for the keynote address, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. V. G. Mohan Prasad, sir. Sir, as an uh, vast experience of thirty-six years in the field of gastroenterology, he is the past national president of Indian Society of Gastroenterology and Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopists of India. Sir also works as a professor in Tamil Nadu, Dr. M. G. R. Medical University. Uh, sir is also advisory member for a national board of examinations sir is also an inventor of homo seal spray and sir has received multiple awards throughout his professional career two times winner of guinness book record for hepatitis awareness best doctor awardee by tamil nadu mgr medical university best performing doctor award by a ministry of health and family welfare tamil nadu best entrepreneur award by times of india and community service award by american college of gastroenterology sir it's a pleasure to have you for this meeting and over to you for your talk thank you dr kapil for those wonderful words so i'll just very quickly take you through your digestive health a healthy gut from the start so what does it mean okay so this is a theme of uh, the world digestive health day may 29 2023 that and uh, why do we need to have a healthy gut from the start is it not enough that if we get a healthy gut you know in the, in the mid 30s or 40s or 50s we just would uh, probably we would like to freak it out during our uh, adulthood the young adulthood days but when we need to heal something we need lot of things that's what i'm going to speak to you about right from the start so and what can we expect when we heal so we have better moods we have less inflammation less pain our immune system is toned down we have better energy and uh, we have lower uh, disease risk and uh, less food sensitivities less anxiety and depression what more you want you get a healthy mind and a healthy gut and in fact it was swami vivekananda from uh, one of the uh, enlightened spiritual monks of this country who said diseases don't come unto us we invite them said swami ji so and you know right uh, you know way back thousands of years back it was hippocrates who said all disease begins in the gut he was so wise even at that point of time when science had not evolved he said it all comes from the gut so let us look at the gut so do we have how many cells we have in the gut but we don't we don't know but more than that you know we have more bacteria fungi and viruses in the gut which completely influence and uh, you know somebody said that if you put all the bacteria in the gut in a line it will be two and a half uh, the number of times of going around the world 2.5 times going around the world the number of bacteria we have more genome from the microbiota than even our own human genome so that is the uh, you know interesting part so and somebody took three sets of mice in one set of mice they uh, they just uh, made it uh, without any bacteria zero bacteria mice another set they put another set of mice they put good bacteria another set of mice they put bad bacteria in the gut and just followed up for their behavior the zero bacteria guys kept sleeping like this all the time and the good bacteria guys showed a normal healthy uh, you know uh, lifestyle whereas the bad bacteria guys were all the time fighting ferociously so this shows that the personality traits in human beings are also governed by the gut microbiome beautiful article published in human microbiome journal uh, you know gut microbiome composition and diversity are related to human personality traits ever since i knew this whenever my wife shouts at me i don't really get uh, take it to heart because i understand it's the microbiota in her make all this uh, adu so we should have a good gut a healthy gut a healthy bacterial flora so we should know who are all the good guys and the bad guys the good guys examples of bifidobacterium uh, escherichia coli lactobacilli some non pathogenic e coli and then you have the bad guys are the campylobacter enterococcus faecalis and the clostridium difficile so what factors modify the gut microbiome it starts from the mode of birth from the mode of birth 
people who were delivered by cesarean infection had a different set of bacteria when compared to pervaginal deliveries breastfed or non breastfed infants and what type of diet mediterranean diet you know is probably the best and you know like all the professors who come in from italy are very close to the mediterranean sort of diet exercise and disease you know happens when the epithelial barrier the gut mucosal barrier gets corroded aging process drugs and the ethnic races in different geographies all these matter so the gut microbiota completely influence and it starts even pre term before birth right from the placenta so i'll tell you how this happens there's a beautiful article which uh, talked about the placental colonization by pathogens they looked at the pathogens the uh, in the teeth and uh, you know the periodontal pathogens and they identified them in, inside the uh, you know uh, the placenta in a growing uh, 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 embryo so in a in a gut human gut so they found that if p uh, gingivalis was there so that can produce more inflammation and can produce dysbiosis in the gut and uh, can lead to preterm uh, birth low birth weight and preterm low birth weight preeclampsia chorea amnionitis all these are possible if just the periodontal bacteria they can produce enough damage even to the uh, child and uh, can damage so it starts even preterm and then goes through the uh, as we grow older the bacteria keeps changing so and there the influence of diet on gut microbiome and implications for human health have been beautifully published and defined and again the role of diet and its effects on the gut microbiome and the pathophysiology of mental disorders have also been shown and so what happens is how does the diet impact the gut microbiome and human health for example a dietary intake of protein fat carbs polyphenols prebiotics this is important so what what do we eat and altered gut bacteria do we have symbionts or pathobionts and uh, the host disease the cvd type 2 diabetes obesity metabolic syndrome autoimmune disease and then the biologic effects alteration of the host metabolism immune system production and pro and anti inflammatory metabolites all these come into play and so people have shown if you eat a high beef diet when compared to a meatless diet it lowers the counts of bifidobacterium so and increases the counts of uh, you know bacteroides and clostridia which is bad bacteria so again consumption of whey protein or pea protein extract increase the gut commensal bifidobacterium and lactobacillus and decrease the pathogenic bacteria which means a uh, mediterranean type of diet or even even whey containing diet is fine but uh, when compared to the high beef diet so dietary protein can also impact the microbiota so the plant protein uh, can increase the bifido and lacto whereas the animal protein can increase the bacteroides so and can increase uh, the uh, you know the risk of uh, cardiac disease the coronary vascular uh, disorders cardiovascular disorders can increase and ibd can also go down because short chain fatty acids are uh, decreased and the tmaos are increased so again uh, the uh, dietary fats unsaturated fats are better like in a mediterranean diet if you take a polysaturated fat they can uh, select the pathobionts and can produce problems likewise uh, you know the western diet is bad for human gut whereas a gluten free diet is uh, like, you know also you know equally bad uh, so mediterranean diet is probably the best to reduce uh, cvd inflammation type 2 diabetes and obesity so and dietary components on immune and metabolic parameters have been very clearly defined so the pre and probiotics polyphenols unsaturated fats all these can increase short chain fatty acids reduce lps and uh, crp il6 il10 iga uh, you know they can increase because il10 uh, you know suppresses inflammation so it's an anti inflammatory uh, you know uh, substance so whereas you know like uh, again here the animal protein and, uh, can reduce the short chain fatty acids and can increase uh, the uh, risk of uh, uh, pro inflammatory cytokines going up
same way the pre probiotics polyphenols such unsaturated fats can reduce cholesterol total cholesterol ldl increase hdl reduce the plasma triglyceride increase insulin sensitivity and uh, you know this is important to understand so impact of exercise on gut microbiome has been very beautifully shown so the more the exercises aerobic type of exercises the gut microbiota improve and physical activity can alter the gut microbiota a systematic review and early life exercise can promote lasting brain and metabolic health through gut bacterial metabolites that have been shown which means you start the exercise early during your life that really helps even yoga has been shown to be uh, having a deep effect on gut microbiota beautiful article from uh, you know british uh, journal of medicine Uh, which said the long term vegan meditation improved the human gut microbiota these are the buddhist monks which uh, were years together practicing deep meditation they had such lovely bacterial flora when compared to the rest so alteration in fecal microbiota balance related to long term deep meditation has also been shown so what happens is if there are bad bacteria there is a leaky gut so this is the uh, tight uh, epithelial junctions which are held together by uh, you know the uh, claudin ecadherin and desmoplakin and desmocolin all these things claudin occludin all these hold the tight i mean the epithelia together the cells together this becomes defective and the bacteria and their microbial products can go across between the epithelial cells into the subepithelial mucosa can trigger mast cell degranulation can activate immune response and can this is one of the important causes of uh, ibs pain uh, you know concept so this biosis and disease has been very clearly shown the density and diversity and activity of gut microbiota uh, can lead to health or disease very well shown so so many disorders can happen because of uh, you know poor gut microbial uh, you know health or dysbiosis so my friends in my take home message i would like to say a healthy gut is essential for good physical and mental health high consumption of meat based diets can lead to selection of pathobionts in the gut vegan foods help to select good bacteria in the gut and exercise even from early life can lead to healthy gut flora adoption of a healthy lifestyle may ward off diseases and i bring you greetings from bgm hospital climator and my entire team of gastroenterology i'm grateful to the jp uh, group for permitting me to overshoot my time limit of 5 minutes to uh, give the context uh, in this uh, uh, august platform thank you so much friends